Adam Fletcher tweeted, yesterday we had the big news that they were going to do the... The team got together to discuss some of the, the Arbiter of Zero feedback because everybody in the community has been absolutely blasting uh, Diablo on how bad the Arbiter is. So they're going to have changes. This was yesterday. and They're going to share more tomorrow. The goal is for a hot fix to have these updated before the weekend. And today is 12-7, the day of recording. And it is uh, Thursday. So we got a couple days. So this is actually really great. Uh, they're thanking us for providing a lot of this feedback. I just want to say before we get at the new tweet that he just did that this is awesome. A lot of people commented on this, including myself, Darth Microtransactions. Hell, even Elon Musk commented on this, which is actually real crazy. Um, so we're really hoping for the best. So now let's go um, check out the actual tweet from Adam today. It just went live. And I think it's really, really nice that they're working so hard with us, the gamers, the public, to do this. I think this is like a very, very good thing. So let's go check out and see what he said. Um, so first things first, we have a hot fix that just rolled out to address an unintended issue with some skills and the AOZ progression bar. Will an update on the community feedback items for tomorrow's hot fix here soon? Okay, so we got two tweets coming. So one, they fixed an issue where a few skills had unintended interactions with the progression bar in the avatar this is for the wizard obviously with the um the hydras being able to respawn like when you constantly spawn the hydra it progressed your bar that is gone so that's one thing they got that out pretty quick um so will an update on the community feedback items for tomorrow hotfix here soon so we got a little bit we just got to wait a little bit of time for the um the following update but uh in Pez Radar, the community manager for Diablo 4 finally tweeted out, finally after all this time, the plans for the hotfix to come tomorrow afternoon regarding the Avatar of Zir and everything that's going to come with it to hopefully make it better. So we're going to go over everything and I'm just going to give my feedback about this stuff now that we got the very first thing fixed with the Hydra and some of the skills that was posted a few hours ago. Now we're going to go into the, to the, the big feedback okay so they want to thank us for all the feedback which is kind of which is great i'm glad that they're responding so fast um and here we go so glyph experience rewards we are going to adjust the experience re rewards starting at tier two upward to significant or to be significantly more as you progress through higher tiers of the avatar of Zer. this should help with the feedback we've seen from players uh, regarding the amount of time that it's going to take to level up your tiers of blood glyph as well as other glyphs that you want to level up as well so just to kind of highlight on that roughly there's 200 total levels that you can level up the glyph and the most notably being getting it to level 50 which is going to increase the uh, radius size one final time and it, it was calculated about 300 hours in total to level this up from 1 to 50. i think rob just now today got his over 25 it's like 26 i think but he has been grinding more than anybody that i know which is kind of nuts just to even think i think i last saw that it was from tier 23 to tier 24 was 125,000 experience so just to touch on this i'm glad that they are increasing the exp that you're getting from finishing the tiers however they didn't they don't mention anything in here about it the cost or how much it takes to go from tier to tier reducing that amount so it looks like they're just buffing how much we get so hopefully it is a huge significant increase in xp to really make it worth leveling up the glyph we're going to find out tomorrow next is the problem uh, problematic fixes we are disabling the vampiric and suppressor affixes from blood seekers across the game we understand the difficulty that the uh understand the difficulty these were providing players while running through avatar yeah i mean it was pretty much 90 percent of the time that when you got to the blood seekers they had either vampiric and suppressor both or one or the other and it made fighting them extremely difficult especially with vampiric because one hit refilled their entire bar and then suppressor is just extremely punishing in this setting so when you have three um blood seekers and two of them have two out of these or two of them have suppressor plus vampiric or however combination it just made fighting them extremely hard so i'm glad that they are disabling this maybe it'll make the blood seekers even though they deal much more damage a much more balanced fight with the bosses so this is good these two needed to be gone 
difficulty and damage reductions. They're gonna be scaling the earlier Avatar of Zero tiers to be a bit easier for players who were onboarding and they're new to the new end game feature. We've seen players uh, note that the difficulty ramp up is pretty excessive even on their first tier for those who were able to complete level 100 Nightmare Dungeons before. These changes will allow for more op opportunities to experience earlier tiers as they grow, as they, as they, tiers and grow as they progress through them. Players expect that tier 10 and beyond will be the same difficulty as before. Separately, they plan on reducing income and damage by 20%, which will be a 20% damage reduction, which is very good. So one to 10 is going to be easier, but post 10 to 25 is gonna be the same difficulty. Now I got to tier 11 and I know other people got to tier 11, 12, 13, and even 15 um, before they kind of just stopped. So even though these were harder to do to get to 10, it is gonna be a lot easier now, which is a good thing. And it allows players to really get a good feel for the new Arbiter endgame mechanic which is great because then it allows us to give some pretty good positive feedback even if you didn't get to tier 25 which is the highest tier that you can do separately the additional 20 percent damage reduction is actually very very good so they didn't reduce how much damage the monsters are going to be doing they just gave us 20 percent damage reduction which is kind of nice so they they are going to be reducing their scaling so for the first 10 levels, they are going to make it a little bit easier. And then with the 20% damage reduction, that's actually going to make things very, very nice. And then tier 10 and uh, higher, the 20% damage reduction is going to be huge. So I think these are overall good changes, especially for players who are struggling in the first one to three tiers. And then, of course, the damage reduction is just fantastic across the board. Really makes pretty much a lot of the builds come online. So players can expect a hotfix sometime tomorrow, December 8th, Pacific time. So they wanted to get this stuff out pretty, pretty fast. Now, overall, I think these changes are very, very good. I think these are great things that can come to the end game and really just allow more players to actually play it, right? Because it was too difficult for a lot of players, probably the majority, and for players like myself and other ones that got to tier 10 on average or a little bit higher, maybe a little bit less. It was just very tough, which was great. It was good to see that. But at those tiers, the Blood Seekers were just too strong. It just made things pretty much impossible unless you were playing um, Immortal Barbarian, which seems to be the most cheese build for all of this. So uh, if you're not playing that, then it is a little bit more of a struggle, even with Ball Lightning. Ball Lightning can definitely do it, uh, especially with this extra 20% damage reduction, which will be nice. But it seems to be that um, Undying Barbarian is just the easiest. Now, um, overall, I think this is great, okay? I know a lot of people are gonna have some back and forth about it, but we gotta think about the bigger picture, okay? They gave us the Abitur of Zer because they wanted us, the players, to test it and give a lot of feedback so that way they can incorporate something permanent, permanent at this level into the end game, which is what we're asking for as players because we want more end game things. So what I think this really does is it allows players to level up the glyph because they really wanted to do that. Most players want to level up this glyph and really just use it to its maximum potential. So I'm hoping that the significant increase is huge. So with that said, that is going to allow players to play it more and have more fun playing it and really give some actual clear feedback as opposed to just being upset because of how long it's going to take to do this and how tough the blood seekers are so i think this is great when we're looking at the big picture to improve the entirety of diablo 4. so overall i think this is a big dub i can't wait to test this stuff out tomorrow so guys like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace